Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy, Lemon Raptor Patrick, back at it again, and welcome back to the freaking hellhole that is Subnautica. You have suffered minor. We are back in the possible final and redone season. Well, not season. Subnautica revamped. Now, if you guys didn't, shut up, Shadid. I appreciate you. I, I love you dearly. Shut up. I don't care. Please, for the love of God, I'm trying to do my intro. Shut the hell up. Grassy ass. <laughs> um, okay, so if you guys didn't watch that video I posted a week ago um, about me updating the channel, I was going to redo some Nautica. That's why we're back here in the beginning. Because of the full version of the game when I did Season 3. Season 3 was in the experimental mode or the pre-release version. So we're going to be playing it all the way through from the very beginning of the full version. Sorry I have to do this, but I actually really wanted to redo the season anyway, or the series. Just because. Hey, Pippa! Pippa! Come back to Tati! Okay, whatever. You you don't like me. That's fine. Uh. Oh, I forgot about you! I forgot about you! No! Why, why are they so close to the... Literally, right next to the life pod? Oh, well. I'll take your cave soul food. Alright. So, now that we're back in the beginning of the game, um, I actually have a few things that I actually really want to get done. And I have a plan in which I'm going to do them by episode. First of which, uh, the first episode obviously is going to be basics. Uh, second episode, likely to get either the Seamoth Fragment or the Seamoth itself. Um, cause the third episode I obviously want to hit the, to hit the island. If not, in the second episode I'll hit it. Uh, this episode though is going to be a little bit longer than typical because I want to record multiple episodes in the one sequence So you guys will probably be seeing the same episode in the next episode if that makes sense. I, I don't think it does. Don't quote me Man, I don't have any oxygen tanks and No matter how boring this first episode is gonna be I have to play it Because it do the game doesn't get really fun until you get to the till you get stuff going so yeah, that's basically our plan for the day. Beacon fragment. Why does um why does the beacon look like that little robot? For not um it's like that little robot from Wally, -E, the one that cleans up everything. The one that cleans up all the messes, the one that gets pissed off that Wally -E leaves his shit everywhere. <laughs> that guy. Yeah, that's what he looks like. Hey Stocky! New blueprint. Did, did it scan? Oh, hold on, I gotta go get air. Cause I'm air headed. And also, one of the things I'm not going to do is become a bitch. I know this ocean, I know what's in it. Like, there's literally no point of being scared of anything. Besides a reaper. I mean, the, yeah, they're still scary. I'm not, what? Ah, uh, there's a sea glide. Uh, that's my first main goal, is to get the sea glide. God, dude, I really miss my gadgets. I can't swim faster. I'm literally going to die because I can't swim fast. Like, that's the problem in this game. You can't swim fast until you get gadgets. It's basically how it works. Already unlocked it, that's right. Here, come here, bladderfish. Thank you. New creature discovered. No creature discovered. Thank you, Shatade. May have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. I just want to go to the Aurora just to get attacked by a Reaper. Because, I mean, I have been attacked by one before. I got attacked by one back in Season 1. That was the last time. Like, the only Leviathan I get hit by now is uh, uh, Ghost Leviathan. He's the only one I ever got hit by. I mean, I've seen the Reaper. I just don't like him. He's ugly. All right, let's make some titanium. Hell yeah, brother. Well, okay, so what do I need again for the sea glide? Oh, uh, okay. Mobile view. Okay. A lubricant, copper wire, and a battery. Of course. Didn't I make a battery? No, I put it in here. Okay. Well, that's a bunch of boo hack. What are you doing, Adonis? You stupid cat. You guys see him in the background? He's being a dude. <gasps> ah, for sure. 
I, I I've never asked the character. Is the is the air actually fresh on this planet? I mean, why? Oh, there's two of them. Red. Oh my God, I have a pube hair of health. Is there any more in here? Give me this, and let's get the hell out of there. Dude, I literally have a pube hair of health. Oxy. Shut up, Shatine. Luckily, I have this. Where'd my cat go? I mean, oh, it's right there. He's, he's, a, he's a crazy guy. Alright, well, I'm gonna buy this. Or, buy this. Hey, guys, we're buying V-Bucks today. <laughs> Literally. Alright, well, I gotta go get lubricant. Stocky? Well, there's like three of you. Like, please, for the love of God. No! Timmy! It doesn't matter how much I play this damn game. Stocky is still one of the scariest freaking creatures. Just because he tries to attack you. Yeah, butthole. You butthole. Jesus, leave me alone. Do you guys see, like, the little pixels that I'm seeing? I don't know if you guys can. On my screen, I can see them to a certain extent. Like, when it turns nighttime. I'm not actually trying to look at my Elgato to see if I can. Nah, you can't see it. I can see, like, a bunch of pixels on my screen, like, when it's nighttime. I think it's from the radiation. That's besides the point. Lubricant. All right. Lubricant's also uh, useful for another um, key ingredient there, Shatid. Disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. I mean, I, I mean, everything's safe. I mean, it is only some Nautica. Alright, let me ask you guys this. I want you guys to actually answer this down in the comment section. If you had to live on this planet for as long as I've had to be here, uh, over the course of three seasons, and, and then the redone version, how long do you think you'd be able to put up with everything that's in it? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of the scariest places I've ever played a game in. Outlast was not... I mean... Outlast isn't even as bad as this. And Outlast is a legitimate horror game. I mean, this game has the horror element. But, it doesn't really... It, it, the thing about it that's scary is that you don't know what's where or what's going to attack you. And that's the thing about oceans. Like, that's the problem. You don't know where anything is. I mean, I've lived here long enough to know where stuff is. And I still get surprised. Like, you'd be surprised on how often this game actually scares the crap out of people. Like, this game is probably the best game I've ever played. Just because it does a good job for what it does. I mean, you have to manage so much crap in this game that it doesn't matter. Alright. I might be able to get my sea glide. I think I have enough for it, right? Okay, what do I need? Alright, copper wire and a battery. I can make those both. I have three pieces of copper and a... Yeah, copper wire. There we go. Sea glide. Converts torque into thrust. <laughs> the sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. You know, she has a point. Traveling with the Sea Glide uh, needs batteries. What, you, what is this cat doing? He's tickling my leg. I don't appreciate that. Alright. I'm going to bring one of these with me as well. And I'm going to drop a bunch of this crap off. Um, yeah. There we go. Alright. My next step. Unlock the Sea or the sea Moth. Can you not, Adonis? You're literally going to unplug my Xbox. All right, hold on. Let's see where we're at. All right. Well, I don't want to go that way. Definitely don't want to go there. 
And there we go. Alright, so we're gonna head to the grassy plateaus real quick. Bubble butt! Alright, here they are. Alright, good old glass grassy plateaus. No. How are you already infected with the Karar? Candy! Reef back! What are you doing? Yo, get off my- No, man! I really don't like you, Zandy. Why you gotta ruin my plans? Dang it! I really miss my oxygen. <laughs> Dang. I like, I honestly, I really wish, like, the Reapers were as docile as you guys. I mean, literally, you guys are in the same class. But you're so docile! How could that be so? You're literally chasing me to the Sarpex! Yeah, nerd! There it is! There's my good old buddy, the good old Wreck! Small cave networks. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Sandy, if you don't mind. Alright, hold on. Oh yeah, I forgot to handle that first. I think I need three sea moss fragments. I need two bioreactor or one more bioreactor, and I need two sea moss. I think one or two. Uh, I want to say it's two though. <gasps> no, I'm not going over there yet. We'll be going over there shortly to get hit by a reaper. Well, not well, not tonight. I don't know. We'll probably go over there though to get hit by one just purposely. Cause a lot of people are like, you don't get scared of reapers, you pushy. What is this? Scanner room? I didn't know you could find these over here. Grassy. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, there's a trash can. Alright, I might as well pick up a steady supply of silver while I'm over here as well. Dang, buddy, dude, you're so hot. I love you. God, dude, why are they, like, so, like, they're so big, yet so docile. Like, I, I really don't like that, the fact that they're that docile and don't attack you whatsoever. I mean, yeah, in the end, it's... scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. I know what the biome is, I've been there. It's the uh, jelly shroom. This is how you get into the jelly shrooms. Well, this is the way I went in, at least. God, why do you guys like just appear out of nowhere? It's like you guys are freaking invisible until I until otherwise known. Like literally, why? Oh hey there. Hey there, Colonel Sage. It's been a cold minute, buddy. Alright. That's besides the point. I want food. No, Cindy! Heaven! Oh my god. Okay, that's why this game's scary. You don't know where they're at! Like, you hear them, and then in the last second, you're like, hey, buddy, how you doing? Literally, I hate you. I hate you, Sandy. I'm not your food. I literally am not food. Hold on, I gotta save this real quick. I haven't done that yet, and I wanna make sure that it saves. Sandy, if you come near me, I'm going to sock you. On God, I will sock you. Where are my sea moss, buddy? Give me that. Ugh. Got lead. I need that for the radiation suit. So, yep, there we go. I see a white light. It's just heaven. No, it's just me. All right, over here, I do know is the mushroom biome or mushroom place. However, I'm not ready to go over there yet. One of which I think the Aurora is, but oh no, it hasn't said anything about it yet, so. I think you have to wait a little bit for the Aurora. Which is fine. I, I really don't really want radiation to spread anyway at this point. Caution. Continued there you go. Of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Wait, did I ever get this scrap trap? I need it, I think. 30 seconds. Shut up, Shafi. I, I appreciate you trying to hold my hand as we go through the freaking place. But, I don't really care. 
Alright, well, that was a long journey. Silicone rubber, okay. Alright, um, I think I might have enough finally to make the repair tool. I'm not sure what I need for that. Um, wait, it's in tools. Okay, repair tool. Silicone rubber. I can make that right now. Bring that to me. Thank you. Give me that. Now, what I'm going to do. Now, the main thing I probably. Okay, hold on. Actually, I need to get this knife. I need to get a knife. Um, there's a good reason behind it, and yeah. Do, were from do I have enough? Weapons. No, I can't make it anymore. Oh, I'm full. Thanks, you. Oh, I actually I need that. Might as well make a buttload of titanium while I'm at it. Because what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to try to push to get the habitat builder. Um, what I really want to do in this episode, um, in this particular one, is I want to be able to make at least a base. That way I can hold stuff. Because last season I had a <coughs> <coughs> I really had a problem with that. It's not having the right things. I had to constantly go out and get stuff. Alright, 4546B. Environment scan. Category 3 ocean climate. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, extensive biodiversity, safety warnings may support Leviathan class predators. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space rescue unlikely. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. Okay. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Thank you. Alright. So, as I was saying before, I need to make, make my habitat builder. Um, there's a reason why I want to do that. It's that way I can hold my stuff. I always seem to run out of things that I need. That's, that's like the biggest problem I run into in this game. Oh, let's go ahead and cook you up. Nah, I don't need you yet. Alright. I probably should go try to find the sea line or the what's it called the emergency the mobile vehicle bay what am I doing what am I talking about like one of the really fascinating things that I've learned oh whoa I have never seen that in Subnautica before ever that worries me about something. I need me a mobile vehicle bay. You guys got a mobile vehicle bay for me? No? Alright. What about you? You got me a mobile vehicle bay? Where art thou? Seagull, I don't have you. I'm driving you. Oh, not going down there. Alright. So I need, I think, gold. All right, computer chip needs gold, uh, table coral, and copper wire. Um, I can make the copper wire. There we go. Um, I need to go get table coral, but I do know I have some gold, so we'll go ahead and get the table coral real quick. I mean, there's literally thousands of that crap just laying around. Um, I think it said I needed two. Alright. Let's make that a computer chip. And wiring kit. I think I needed, um... Oh, I, I mean, I guess you can just make titanium. I didn't want to, but alright. Alright, um, I needed the habitat builder. Okay. Um, wiring kit and a battery. Okay. Do I have enough to make a battery? Or do I need to go farm some shit? I need to go farm some shit. Alright, I guess I'm gonna make the wiring kit real quick. There we go. Yep. Back to right. 
There we go! We got ourselves a Habitat Builder! The Builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Well, for now, we're not going to be using that dude, boo hawk. Because we're going to just put this right here for now. For no reason whatsoever. I mean, literally, I have no purpose for this. Besides the fact that I just, I need it. Like, I really don't have any purpose for it. Besides the fact that I need me a place to store shit for now. Now there is no point to this thing. It's just here to hold stuff. Warning. Wait, power. hold on. I got, do I have Oxygen to find the solar panel? Offline. No, I don't. Okay, I need two quarts. It's a piece of titanium. And what was the other ingredient? Um, well, copper. Okay. There's a logical explanation for everything in this game. Well, why is that logical explanation? Then why haven't I died yet? I haven't stuck here for ages. There we go. We got ourselves some quartz, and we're gonna have very little power up in here, but that's fine. And I need to get another piece of titanium real quick. Well, there's a message. So hold on, to it. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Here's another one. Location uploaded to PDA. This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Well, they're dead. If they're in the radiation zone, they either got hit by a leviathan or died from radiation. Wait. I need power. Yes. Just, just place it right there. And Boski. Hell yeah. Power All right. All primary systems so I'm gonna need to make a bunch of wall lockers, and no, these will n oh, actually they might. I might put names on them for now. Um, do I want to swim all the way to the floating island? Why the heck not? No, nah, I don't want to do that yet. All right. Um. Yeah, one there. I only need two for now, I, I want to say. Alright. No, I'm trying to get it as close as I can. Alright, that'll work, I guess. Gotta quit uh, squeezing sh sh uh, stuff over here. Alright, we'll put these all in here. Uh, with that. A couple of these fish, that way I have some food. Uh, fin use that for now. Uh, no, I need my scanner. Come here. Uh, you can go in there, and the rest of this titanium can go in there. Alright. Alright, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it here. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching this. I know it's been a cool minute since the last time I did some Nautica. But, however, in the next video, I do plan on getting my sea moth, the mobile vehicle bay, and most likely going to the island to get the base upgrades. So I can actually move away from my life pod. Because, you know, nobody likes Terrence. He's ugly and he looks like fate. But that's besides the point. So hopefully I will be able to do that then. So thank you guys everybody so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to show us support by clicking that like button. And if you're new to the channel, fight the subscribe button like a champion. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.